welcome to my channel sap sd and abap league support today we are going to discuss about another important sap sd real time scenarios from business in other words we can say that it's kind of custom announcement so there is a business requirement stating that business want to use number ranges for billing type wise or in other words we can say that they want to have the number range for company code wise sales area wise country region wise currently as per scp standard behavior number range can be generic for the billing type wise it is not controlled through sales area wise or any country wise any company code wise right to fulfill the customer requirement to have separate number ranges for sales area wise or company code wise country or region wise we should do some custom announcements so before going to understand how we can achieve this let's understand few important basics of this number range okay you see this screen this is nothing but number range object maintenance the t code here is that snro in snro we can maintain this number range object rv belag is the number range object used in case of invoice number range only and this is the initial screen for snro transaction code and if we scroll down if you click on enter then we see this screen this screen contains two options windows ranges and customizing the next thing is that the t code to maintain interval for number range is vn01 in vn01 transaction code only we will be maintaining the number range intervals for billing documents you see here for the number range 01 we have maintained the range from 1 to this number and the nr status indicating that the current number that has been utilized so far right and this vn01 is not only specific to billing documents it is also used in case of sales document type number range as well so this vn01 is used in case of sales document type number ranges as well as billing type number ranges and the transaction code to access billing type controls that is vo fa so in vo fa transaction code we will be maintaining the number range for the billing type wise there only we will maintain that uh, output procedure pricing procedure tax determination account determination and so on so this is the t code and the table database table which will be storing these billing type controls are tv tvfk so in the tvfk only we see the controls what we see in vo fa and one more important thing is that a sales order can have both internal and external number range whereas invoice can contain only internal number range internal number range in the sense system will propose the number range automatically so we can't manually enter the number range during creation of an invoice okay so now let's understand how we can fulfill this requirement you see here i have prepared one table here uh, billing type is so this table contains several fields billing type company code region country sales area number range so it, this requirement might vary in different projects so as per this project this is the requirement so whenever in case of up to invoice billing type 
and company code is mk12 and in case of these sales areas business expecting that number range should be one similar way in case of f2 billing type and company code is mk13 and in case of this sales area business expecting that number range as two okay in case of iv expectation here is to determine four that means we are determining different number ranges for different billing types and different sales area wise so first we need to develop a one custom table with these combinations as per business requirement then we should call this custom table in the user exit so the development should be done in the program rv60 afzz so in this program we have several user exit the important user exit that we should focus to add the custom user exit is user exit number range so in this user exit we can call this custom table and uh, fulfill the relevant codes to get the business requirement so remember that this is the program rv60afzz and this is the user exit user exit number range uh, this is how we should develop a one custom table and call the custom table in the user exit to manipulate the number ranges hope uh, this uh, session will be very helpful to you if you are new to my channel please do subscribe thanks everyone